The dead man had a scar just like the one Mama said Papa had. So how's it possible he's not my father? Well, I can think of one man who might know. I know you're involved in this, Julian. And I'm gonna nail you, you bastard. Please. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Isn't it wonderful? Papa's alive. Thank God. Yeah, and Eve Russell for pushing that test through before the body was cremated. For attention, please. Due to this new information that has come to light, this service is postponed until the body can be identified and his family, whoever they may be, is notified. Thank you. Father. I'm so very happy for you, Pilar. Thank you. Mama, you were right all along. If you hadn't trusted your feelings. No. If you hadn't believed in my feelings, if you hadn't listened to me. This is the best news, Luis. Mama knew. And now you know you didn't let your father die. I mean, you don't have to live with the guilt of choosing to save Sheridan of your own father. Perhaps we should make our graceful exit, darling. You're not going anywhere, Crane. We've got a few questions to ask you. The dead man that we all thought was Martin Fitzgerald. Exactly what is your connection to him? Well, ask away. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have for me. Would you excuse us, dear? Of course, darling. Okay. Well, I must say I'm hard-pressed to understand just why Harmony PD is so bent upon wasting my time. Well, you misidentified a body, Crane. That's just for starters. Well, now you can't believe I did that on purpose. Well, what else are we supposed to think? Look, we just want some straight answers, Julian. What the hell do you know about the man in the coffin? <sighs> well, no more than you, perhaps much less. The man's not Martin, according to the test, so... But that's I'm how you certain. identified him? Why? Well, I wasn't the only one. Pilar thought it was Martin. At least at first she did, and so did you, Louise. If a woman and, and her son can't identify her husband and father, then You're covering we... something, Crane. I mean, you know more than you're saying. You're so determined to hang everything on me. Perhaps just hang me, period. You know, in this country, there is presumption of innocence. And in my case, it's not even presumption, because I'm completely innocent. Come on. From the moment that I saw you in Santa Fe, I knew you were part of this scam. Or whatever it is. Now, you're gonna tell us the truth, Crane. And you're gonna tell us the truth right here, right now. I have told you all I know. I don't think so. I've answered all your questions, and I'm dead tired of the whole thing. I've told you everything I know in detail. Do you think that you can slide out of this by handing us some attitude? There's no winning with you, is there, Louise? Attitude? I'm merely trying to point out that everyone made a mistake identifying the body. You're smooth, Crane. But we're not letting you off the hook. It was an honest mistake. The man had a full beard, it was hard to identify him. After the fall, it was impossible. Then there was the scar, which only Pilar knew about, and he had it. He fit everyone's description of Martin Fitzgerald, not to mention that he called himself Martin, so I say this in defense of all of us. There was a rush to judgment. You know, we don't have to rush into anything. If you want to make this slow and painful, that's your call. But we're gonna nail you. You keep saying we, officer, but I'm not sure that your chief wants to be included. Am I right, Chief Bennett? <laughs> Sam? You're free to go, Julian. What? We have no further questions at you this time. It. You've got to be kidding. Goodbye, Julian. Well, Luis, I'm very happy for you and all the Lopez Fitzgeralds. And if there's anything else I can do, please let me know. I had to let him go, Luis. We, we got nothing on him. You heard his defense. It's rock solid, at least for the moment. You gotta be kidding me. I said for the moment. There's no way we're gonna pack this in. Oh no. But we need some rock solid evidence. And when we do, we'll bring it down. If we get a search warrant for the Crane Mansion, turn that place upside down. Judge wouldn't approve it. What the hell?
hell did that guy get Julian's number? What well, is suspicious, I admit that. But just having a number proves nothing. We have to get concrete proof of Julian's involvement with the dead man. How? Well, somebody knows something. Maybe one of the cranes knows something about your father. So we'll have to get one of the cranes to talk. <laughs> We're a closed shop, Luis. I mean, how do you think we're going to get even one of them to go against the mighty Crane Empire? I'm not sure. But I got to try and break him down. I got to know what happened, Sam. Luis, can I speak to you alone a minute? 